Jack. Uh, hang on. So uh, this is Jack. This is my eldest son. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, hello, yeah. Terry. Thirteen. <laughs> next year in July, the eleventh. Excellent. And you're here. Yeah. The um. The subtitles doesn't come up very good, does yeah, it? No, it says, 20, <laughs> it says 12, 12 military. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's stuck in there now. So yeah. um, so you're here as part of my sales team. So Jack is part yeah. of my sales team. So the second edits of the book have come through from Kelly Nesson from Just Right Words. And Jack now is the um, is part of my sales team. I've got to turn this stuff off. It's really driving me bananas. Uh, hide the subtitles. All right, <clears throat> I don't think that's going to line up. But anyhow, Jack, so as part of my sales team, what's your job? What do you have to do for selling my book? I've got to email people. Yeah. And then if they want to buy it when the book comes, I have to put it in envelopes and then post it. Yeah, absolutely. So while it's good to talk to me, it's also good to talk to the people. Um, so if you look okay. up at the camera sometimes every now and then. So and um, what do you get for the work that you do? So you're learning how to sell. Yeah. Right, because it's easy. I could just do this, but um, but you guys said that you wanted to earn money, and and um, Noah told me that about who's the guy that swaps the penny for the house. Oh, Ryan Trahan. Ryan Trahan. So for those who don't know, there's a there's a YouTuber named Ryan Trahan. What do you want to tell us about Ryan Trahan? Well, What's your view? Um, a few months ago, uh, before we moved into our new house, um, I started. Uh, there was this dude called Ryan Trahan, I'm not sure before that, but he started like a like a YouTube like series thing yeah. where he had to, oh, what did he have to do? Oh, he had to get to one side from America to the other side to deliver a penny to Mr. Beast, which is weird, but kind of cringy. But uh, uh, yeah, and so he started with a penny and then um, it was also a donation thing. So like all those penny challenges or like donation things. And um he was able to make over a uh, donate a million dollars for people who needed food and stuff, shelters. Right. And it's oh, walking around with a penny. No, like people donated, like for the people. Because he had a penny, they donated and, money. No, not to him. Okay, like but he to, had like a penny. To, to like a thing, he made like a donation thing for people in need. And stuff and he, he said that um if you donate one hundred thousand dollars he has to start all the way back at a penny again right right but what but did so he, he do with the penny but what did he do with the so penny? with the penny he like uh bought like a pen maybe or something and then he'd sell the pen for like two dollars and like he'd keep like building up his money and what was the end goal that he wanted to get from the penny to what to the other side of America to get to the other side of America. So he needed to, money to get to the other side of America? To deliver a penny to Mr. B. Okay, okay, and then along the way. All right, so clearly from Jack's description, I'm completely not understanding. But the point being, there's some sort of sales skills that go inside that to swap a penny. He's not good at it. <laughs> he's not good at it? No. No one can see him quite well, good, but he can see him not so good. He, he doesn't think he's, like, that good. Like, he's, like, he's kind of awkward when he does it. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, there's a good point about sales. Sales isn't always easy and um, to just do. And there, is, there are components of selling that is quite awkward, Jack. So this is what you're going to find out from this. So my job is to give you the list. I've spent 10 years creating a list. So mm -hmm. my job is to give you and know the list of um, people that uh that say I network with that have bought a copy of my book before that have been in sales classes that have um, come to sales things and that I've met along the way. So my job is to give you a list of people and, um, and then to sit down with you and your job is to write a really good letter and just let them know, mum's writing a book. It's about to go to the publisher. Would you like to get one of the first, first editions? And then along the way, you have to tell a little story. When I sell the book and when Noah and I sell the book, we both earn a dollar per each book that's sold. But, you know, what Noah and I have realised too is it's not just about selling. You don't earn money just from selling. There's like a whole process that goes behind it as well, isn't there? There's the thank you when someone orders a book, then you've got to follow up and say thank you for it. Then you've got to find their address, write it down. I remember Noah's finding this one out the hard way. 
is if you want to sell, what's the first, how many books do you want to sell at the beginning? I don't know, 100. You want to start with 100? 100 is good. Maybe? I don't know. No, go big. Go big, go big, go <laughs> big, right? <laughs> you sell 100, you make $100, right? No, but you'd make 300. Ah, but we make 300. We had this conversation. What are the other things besides selling when it comes to so, selling something? So what are the other you, things? Selling the book is one aspect. Yeah, you so have you to sell a dollar the book. book. You yeah? earn a dollar for every book you sell. Yeah. And you earn a dollar every a book you envelope. Envelope you have to write. And then every one you send off. Yeah, then you're going to have to send them off. So there's yeah. like three major tasks when it comes to selling a book. There's three major tasks. Sales is one. The next one is writing the envelope. Noah's about to find this one out. He's been holding off writing his envelopes. He's thinking, I'll get 100 envelopes and write it. Now he's starting to think probably each time you get a sale, you should just write the envelope because 100 envelopes all at once is a very large job, whereas one envelope at a time is like a two-minute task. Yeah. So I think he's up to about um, 20 26 I think um yeah he's up to 26 on his list so um so there's a number of books that have to be um sent out that way Jack though Jack's a week behind but that's okay they're working as a team so Jack's starting a week later than Noah because Noah was sick last week and Jack went to school he went to swimming lessons he did all the right things and then backed it up with uh scout camp mm. so over at scouts and so you've just come back from scouts yeah. so he's here to do a video and then, um, and then we'll be able to sit down. The next list is done, and then you'll be able to sit down and, and write to everyone. So, is there anything you want to say to the people out there because they're going to watch the movie, watch this video? Anything you want to say? Um, buy mom's book. She's amazing. Yeah, buy mom's book. Subscribe to mom, and um, subscribe to Ryan Trahan. <laughs> and Ryan Trahan as well. All right. So, according to Kathy Weaver. Um, I'm supposed to be hashtagging inside the um, YouTube stuff. So this is Kathy. This is Kathy yeah. So according to Kathy, um, I'm supposed to be hashtagging. So okay. I will learn how to do that properly because I certainly haven't been doing it right yet. So you want to say bye to everybody? Uh, bye. Pay attention. All right then. See you guys. Uh, we'll catch up soon. Bye. bye. <laughs>